What's up, Tailgaters? You're in the booth with Tailgate Nate today. Welcome to my channel. We're going to pivot away from some ranked teams here in my Week 8 preview predictions, and we're going to move on to a very interesting game in the ACC. Neither of these two teams, at least the way it sits right now, looks like they're going to be making their conference championship game. However, this is a very intriguing matchup from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, and I really wanted to talk about it here. We have the Clemson Tigers. We have the Miami the Hurricanes, two teams that, compared to preseason expectations, have under performed so far and both of them are going to look for a big marquee win here to give themselves a nice boost for the rest of the season it's the tigers it's the hurricanes it should be a fun one from hard rock we're going to dive on into it in just a little bit but you guys know i got to thank you for all the support the channel has seen as of late it just means the world to me so i thank you guys so so much there are many ways that you can help continue to show your support for the channel uh subscribing ringing the bell is the biggest way to do that but obviously there are more than just that you're doing one of them right now by watching the video and you can also like comment, share, anything else that you guys feel like uh, is necessary and that you are willing and able to do. To help me support the channel would mean a lot to me. Uh, just can't thank you guys enough for the support. And kind of said everything I need to say about this matchup. Both these two teams looking for a big win, looking for a momentum-building win. Uh, and we're going to go ahead now uh, and preview this game for you. So let's go ahead and start on out with the stats that both of these teams have put up so far this season. We are going to start with the road team. That is the Clemson Tigers. Now, neither of these teams are ranked. However, a win here yeah, definitely is going to give AP voters a lot of things to think about when trying to make their next AP poll ballot. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Clemson Tigers stats to start things off. And honestly, when you take a look at these two teams and you take a look at the stats across all different levels, the two teams in a lot of ways are very, very comparable. And we're going to talk about that more when we get into my what to watch for keys to the game, whatever you want to call it. That's coming up next. But taking a look at the stat sheet here for Clemson's offense, we know the quarterback that they're led by is Cade Klubnik. Now, did not start out the year that great, and it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows for Cade throughout this year, but he has gotten a whole lot better. 1,370 yards on 65% completion percentage, 11 touchdowns, and two picks so far this year. It's a Clemson offense that has really been able to find a spark through the air, and we know how good they are on the ground as well. Led by guys like Will Shipley and Phil Moffa, Cade Klumnik here and there can flash the ability with the legs as well. This is an offense that is really starting to find some balance. I mean, not it's not only Cade Klumnik that is stepping up in the pass game for this team. It's these receivers as well. Guys like Bo Collins, guys like Tyler Brown, guys like Troy Stilato, uh, Antonio Williams, uh, the, the tight end Brining Stool, and many, many more guys like Will Shipley out of the backfield can be good pass catchers as well so this is a passing unit as a whole that has really stepped up and it's a very good third down offense and they do a pretty decent job in pass protection as well but the thing that plagues Clemson is turnovers offensively especially fumbles they have eight of them so far on the year that has to get cleaned up against the Miami defense that we'll talk about in a little bit but when you talk about the Tiger defense we know what this Tiger defense has been made of for so long and it is physicality and not only that it is statistically maybe not that much better of a defense than last year but if you really sit down and watch this Clemson team it is a better defense than some of the past or at least in super super recent memory that we have seen out of this Clemson team in years prior I know I jumbled around everywhere it probably didn't make sense I hope you followed along with that sentence but this is a defense that has stepped up in, in, in many many ways the the past rush was not all there last year 15 sacks through six games so far this year that's a 30 sack pace 2.5 sacks per game hey that's a pretty good number right there 11 turnovers so far on the year forced that's a pretty good number right there for the Clemson Tigers they're one of the best rush defenses in the entire country uh, and they're also a uh, I believe at the very least a top 30 third down defense as well so this is a defense in a lot of ways that has stepped up and played some big minutes especially the secondary playing really really well as well 28 passes defended five interceptions two pick sixes for this tiger defense so far on the season let's go ahead and pivot on over to the miami hurricanes where offensively uh well there are some question marks coming into this game and most notably it surrounds the health of their quarterback tyler van dyke so far on the year has 1721 yards on 70 percent completion percentage 16 touchdowns and six interceptions on the year if he is not able to uh, is he if he is not able to go for this game uh, against Clemson it will be Emory Williams who has had playing time this year and has been very effective in terms of a completion percentage so far this season but being without Tyler Van Dyke in this game 
could hurt them big time because Tyler Van Dyke has been playing really, really well, has a lot of great weapons. Guys like Xavier Restrepo, guys like Jacoby George, guys like Colby Young, uh, those, of course, being his main three guys. He has others back there as well. Uh, and then even the run game, been really able to get going this year as well. Henry Parrish, Donald Chaney, uh, and some other names that are back there as well. A.J. Allen, a former Nebraska Cornhusker transfer. This is an offense that is cooking, but again, turnovers have been a problem, much like they have been for Clemson. Six interceptions, six fumbles on the year. You've got to hold on to the football. Otherwise, this is a very, very good and very, very dynamic Miami offense. Now, let's talk about the defense here for this team because, I mean, you take a look at the, especially some of those stats here uh, for the, the Clemson Tigers. The Miami Hurricane defense is pretty comparable. They're a pretty comparable rush defense, at least statistically. Uh, and, well, they have a lot of very good players on the defensive front. They've generated 17 sacks so far on the season. Some websites say 17, some say 16. It really just kind of depends on what you are, are, are looking through. But 17 is the number that I saw, at least most commonly. So 17 sacks uh, that have... Uh, my apologies, I had a little frog in my throat, but Miami is a team that's able to generate pressure. They've done really well in, in rush defense. Uh, the, 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 they are being able to force some turnovers here and there as well. Nine turnovers on the year, but it is the play of this secondary. And it's not because of lack of talent. No, Kitchens uh, is really, really good. And they do have some of the best uh, backs here in the entire country, at least talent-wise, in the secondary. But when you take a look at this Miami defense, it has had its moments where it really hasn't played best, but it is especially strong up front. When you take a look at these two teams, offensively, defensively, what's the one thing that stands out to you here in this game? And a couple areas, offensively and defensively, where they are very, very comparable, that is the battle of the trenches. That is the line of scrimmage. That's going to go a long way in deciding this game, which team wins the line of scrimmage. And guys, it's going to lead me here into my keys to the game, what to watch for, whatever you want to call it. It's just some things I think you should keep an eye on or keep in your head when you are watching this one. We are going to start with the Clemson Tigers, the road team, as per usual. Cade Klubnick and company are going to be need to be more uh, effective than what the Miami Hurricanes with Tyler Van Dyke and company have cooking up. Now, I do trust this Clemson defense a whole lot more than I trust the Hurricane defense, but I trust the Miami offense a whole lot better than I do the Clemson offense. This is a Clemson offense that is coming off of a bye week. It has an extra week of rest, so we'll see how well Clemson is able to play offensively here, but with the way that this offense has been trending, the run game should still perform really, really well, but especially with Cade Klumnik, you got to be able to make this secondary pay, got to be able to get the pass game going. Follow the North Carolina formula on the ground. This is just what I talked about here with the run game. North Carolina gashed this Miami off or this Miami defense on the ground last week. And the Clemson has the talent to be able to do the exact same thing. If they can gash Miami for over 200 yards on the, the ground, that means that you more likely than not will have won the battle at the line of scrimmage. And again, that is the big matchup to watch here in this game. The winner of the line of scrimmage more likely than not here will win this game. And with Van Dyke being hurt with Van Dyke, maybe not being a full 100% here in, in this game, rattle him, get to him, get hits, generate the quarterback pressures, make the Van Dyke have to throw the ball where he necessarily doesn't want it and control the tempo. Make Miami pay play at the pace of play that you want to play at because Clemson's pace of play is a whole lot slower than what Miami does. But if you're Miami, you want to do the exact opposite. Look, Tyler Van Dyke likely will be playing here in this game. How effective can him and the rest of this offense be when he is not at full health? Again, running the football for both of these teams could be something that could provide a little issue here in this one. Now, if Miami's defensive line plays like they did last week, well, it, it could be a long day for Miami Hurricane football fans. But if this is an offense that is having success running the ball and Tyler Van Dyke, maybe not at 100% in this game, but if he is making plays like he does when he is at 100%, hey, that's just going to be an even better uh, one up here for the Miami Hurricanes and an offense that I trust a little bit more than what I've seen out of the Tigers so far this season. And then two very, very simple keys here. Continue the physical play. Miami's been very physical on the line of scrimmage, not only running the ball, but defending the run, generating pressure, pass protection, run protection, whatever may have you. Continue the, the physical play. 
but defense, uh, uh, continue the physical play. That's offense. That's defense. But speaking of defense, the secondary cannot fold. Again, this is a Klubnik led offense that is really starting to find their rhythm in the pass game. The Miami secondary cannot allow a lot in this game. But guys, that just leads me here into my game prediction, right? Both of these teams are really looking for a momentum building win. Miami is coming off two losses. They are looking to try to get back in the win column. And Clemson is coming out of the bye week. Still some pretty interesting games coming up for them on the ACC schedule. They're hoping to try to get back to that double digit win mark. But guys, I've said it so many times throughout this video, this matchup is going to come down to the line of scrimmage. Which team is going to win the line of scrimmage? And well, much, much like they do almost every week, I believe that's going to end up being the Clemson Tigers. Very, very close game. I, if, if I were a man that were to be someone that would put money on it, at least where my money would go, not telling you this is where you should put your money. That should be your own decision to make. But the Clemson Tigers, I feel like are going to pull out a nail biter here. I think this is going to be a very fun, uh, very physical game. But I do trust Clemson's physicality a little bit more, especially with Tyler Van Dyke, maybe not necessarily being at 100% in this game. So I am going to go with the Clemson Tigers. I think the defense steps up, makes a couple really nice plays. Uh, they get to Van Dyke and Clemson gets back on track here. They get their fifth win of the year and they build some momentum for the rest of the season while handing the Hurricanes their third straight loss. Let me know your thoughts on this game in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, remember to play hard, but tailgate harder. I'll see all you guys tomorrow. We'll wrap up week eight predictions with a couple more videos. Goodbye.